First and foremost, we want to be a deterrent. Uh, that, that's the thing. The, the idea that this school has people that are trained at such a high level in itself should be a deterrent to someone that is uh, considering coming here to do, to do harm to someone. Teachers, it's a whole separate a whole separate kind of training. You gotta, you gotta look at classrooms, you gotta look at hallways, you gotta look at more of a school type scenario. What they're doing today is, is they're gonna do shoot, don't shoot scenarios here. In the afternoon, uh, we've got a local school where they're gonna go in and they're gonna, they're gonna go in as, as with their team. Each school has a team and they're gonna do uh, uh, hallway training. Why this program would work for us is because one thing, the police station is not across, sitting across the street, just a rural environment. It is a military, law enforcement style training. I mean, it, it, you can hear them down here, the trainers are yelling at them, the trainers are making them pay for their misses. Uh, they're nervous about it. You know, when they come, you see people that they're, they're apprehensive about it, they have a look in their eye, and then at the end of the, of the 40 hours, they're, they're a whole different person. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through this. I know you've had some experience, but because you're late. We revisited the fundamentals of marksmanship, which is basically the stance, grip, side alignment, side pitcher, and trigger press. Um, just put them on the firing line and allowed them to, to go back and revisit the fundamentals. And then we started them um, on some more advanced tactics, and that being strong hand only shooting, support hand only shooting, and then strong hand only reloads. Okay, how do you fix the phase one stoppage? Right, right, reset. All those people that, that become members prior to that, they have to have their conceal and carry, they have to have passed a drug test, they have to pass a psychiatric evaluation. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's things that they have to do before they can actually even participate uh, in the program itself. If their identity within the school becomes known, then they're useless to this program. They, uh, we don't want anybody in the school, the teachers, the, the, the students, uh, parents out, in the, we don't want them to know who they are. If we had someone that came in and they had ill intent and they know that the school has, you know, a resource officer who's the first person they're going to target, the resource officer. They didn't get into education to carry a gun to school. I mean, they got into education because they love kids, but, but the way the trend is, they don't want to be scared anymore. 